I'm Trisha Keen right now on your 13 Action News update. While some events have moved to other cities or have been canceled, several sporting events will be held right here in Las Vegas. The Frozen Four Hockey and the March Madness Basketball Tournaments are coming to T-Mobile Arena. This is the first time the state of Nevada will host a predetermined NCAA championship since 1991. In total, Nevada was picked to host 11 NCAA events through 2023 and 2026. Well, the Global Gaming Expo's kickoff event going virtual today, several leaders in the gaming industry spoke at the kickoff in a panel discussion. They talked about navigating the pandemic and bouncing back in a successful way. The virtual experience will continue on October 27th and 28th. The event usually brings in thousands of people from all across the world right here to Las Vegas. Clark County Commissioner Lawrence Weekly is asking the community to drop it like it's hot. A ballot drop parade is being held this Saturday at the Clark County Election Department at 965 Trade Drive in North Las Vegas. The commissioner and Power 88 Vegas are hosting this event. Again, it will be happening this Saturday from 9 a.m. until noontime. Danny. After near record highs the past two afternoons, a nice cooling trend kicks off as we approach the weekend. Your Wednesday evening temperature is looking much better. 95 was today's high but 80s through dinner time with very calm wind and very clear skies. The wind speeds will be noticeably breezier tomorrow, gusts up to about 25 miles per hour in Las Vegas, but up to 30 to 40 miles per hour for the Colorado River Valley, which means a red flag warning going into effect there. Temperature topping out at 90 for Thursday, dropping to 87 for Friday. All right, Danny, and that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.